like to talk a little bit about how I use um, money to develop money skills for uh, adult learners that are in my programs. And sometimes uh, um, you might be in a situation where you're in a classroom and you have more than one learner, or you might be in a situation where you're tutoring one-on-one. -on -one. So this particular program is a program that works well either in the classroom or if you're working with a learner one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a computer program, so you need access to that. Um, certainly if you don't have access to the computer, then you can just work with uh, money regularly. There are two ways you can go about it. I like to use the, the, the actual money if I'm working with a learner one-on-one -on -one because it requires basically $5 or $10 in change. <coughs> But if you have a classroom and you have um, some money available, you can go to one of the teacher supply stores and get some money, um, fake money there, uh, and you can get Canadian fake money, so just plastic coins and have those, so it's, it's cheaper sometimes that way. Um, if you have several learners, um, then you can just go and do that. The um, actual program that I like to use with the learners is um, on a program called FunBrain. So if you go on FunBrain and then click on All Games and then from All Games you just go to ChangeMaker and with ChangeMaker you'll get this page and you will notice that there's um, several different levels. There's an easy level, medium, hard, and then super brain. You want, of course, the Canadian icon, so click on the Canadian flag. And I've clicked on easy. So you have there um, 25 cents, so it's working with that. I like to have 10 pennies, a dime, and a nickel working with them. And if you find this is too hard for your learner, then you might want to start with just a sheet of paper with um, some pictures of the coins on the paper, and then just work with developing, you know, what a, a nickel is, what ten cents is, and and how many pennies that that is equal to. Get them familiar with that, and don't be afraid to have them working with their their hands with the actual money. Once they've gone past the easy level, then they can go on to the harder, le medium level, the hard level, and then what's called the super brain level. And for your adult learners, you may find that some come in and say that they know it. I try them on it to begin with and just make sure that they demonstrate the skills because I've had some learners come in and they've surprised themselves that they actually didn't have the skills. And so the, after working on the program for a while, then they were able to do it. Um, there are other learners that are quite high functioning and they do fine with it um, to begin with and then progress really, really quickly through it. And so once they've demonstrated the actual skills, then you don't really need to keep them on it any longer. But it's a way of helping learners that don't have all of the necessary uh, money skills um, for making change um, to be able to do that. This is the website that Alan uses with his learners. It's called funbrain.com. And to get to the Canadian Changemaker game, you click on All Games, and then scroll down a little, and click on Changemaker. First you select a difficulty level, so we're going to start with Easy. And make sure you click on the Canadian flag. This is how the game works. We're buying something that costs 15 cents and we're paying 25 cents and we have to calculate how much change we're going to get back. So we could count up, we could use nickels, but let's use a dime. Let's see, the answer is one dime. We just click on the dime. So we have one dime and click go. And that is the correct answer. So if you do get the answer right, they throw another question at you right away. Now let's see what happens when you get it wrong. Let's say we didn't think the answer was a dime. Let's say we thought the answer was a nickel. So we click on the nickel to get one nickel and click go. There. Now if you do get the wrong answer, they do tell you what the correct answer is and they show you what the correct answer looks like.